It's your girl Ro in the building and I'm here to welcome you to my YouTube. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make candy strawberries for beginners. Now let's get into it. First off, let's go over how to wash and separate and store your strawberries so they can last up to two weeks. So here I'm going through the container. You want to take your strawberries out of the container, sort through your strawberries, find some nice firm strawberries. And you don't want to get any strawberries that have the soft spots or any leakage. Those are bad for dipping. And we all know when we get our strawberries, we normally have to go through at least two to three containers to get some good strawberries. So now that I got my strawberries sorted out, these are the good ones on this side here. And then we got the bad ones and we're just going to throw those out. And now we're going to put our strawberries in a bowl and prepare the cleaning process. Now you wanna make sure you clean your strawberries. This product I'm using here is called Veggie Wash. It breaks down the wax and wash away any contaminants, dirt, pesticides, bacteria, or any other residue. And you just spray and swish it around for about 20 or 30 seconds. Add some water to your bowl. You see that little dirt film there? You just want to let it sit for about 20 or 30 seconds. Then rinse completely, add some more water, and you see how clean that is? And if you don't want to use this product, you can also use Baking soda, this is a multi-purpose baking soda. Add a tablespoon to some water and your fruit, and then add a tablespoon of all white vinegar. And you just let that sit for about 20 or 30 seconds. Rinse, you just empty the water and rinse completely. All right, if you get any strawberries that look like this, you see that film, this is not a good strawberry. So make sure you don't use those. Now, once you have done all that process, either one you choose to use, make sure they're rinsed completely and dry completely, and make sure you dry the leaves as you see I'm doing here. Make sure no dead leaves are up under those um, leaves, um, under your fresh leaves. And then, this is how you store. Now, don't pay my little container no mind. It's clean. But I'm adding some paper towel, and this is how you store your strawberries for a later use. So you just line them in here and fill it up, and then add another piece of paper towel on top of there, and then go through the same steps, adding more strawberries. And after you have filled your containers up, now you can use a bigger container, but after you fill it up, then you wanna cover it with some saran wrap, or Reynolds wrap and as you see I'm adding another paper towel over it and then I'm going to seal it up all right you can seal this up nice and tightly or you can place it in a container with a sealed top and place it in your refrigerator and your strawberries will be good up to two weeks or maybe even longer but this is how you can keep your store your strawberries fresh just take them out of the store-bought container clean them and place them in another container. Now, once you're ready to use your strawberries, remove them from the refrigerator and the container, you wanna make sure you dry them again and dry those leaves completely after you have took them out of the container. Then insert with your toothpicks and now you're ready for dipping. Now, if you're just purchasing your strawberries from the grocery store and you wanna get right into dipping them as soon as you get home, just go through the cleaning process prep your strawberries and you're ready for dipping. Now dipping bad strawberries is not acceptable. Dipping strawberries like this is against the law. <laughs> but when you come across strawberries that look like this, please do not dip them. I don't care if they're coated in chocolate or coated in candy, it's not acceptable. Now when it comes to dipping your strawberries without the leaves, pull back the leaf and gently twist them so that you can keep your strawberry whole and then insert the sticks right in the center at the top of that strawberry. And you're ready for dipping. Now that your strawberries are prepped, just set them to the side, don't put them back in the refrigerator, and we're gonna get right into the recipe. Four cups of sugar, and we're gonna add in one cup of water and one cup of light corn syrup. 
You wanna make sure your ingredients are well incorporated. So give it a little mix before you add to your stove. When making hot candy, I recommend you use a candy thermometer. You wanna remove at 300 degrees, make sure the tip doesn't touch the bottom of the pot. You just wanna clip it onto your pot and just insert the tip right into your mixture. You wanna cook at medium high heat and you wanna remove at 300 degrees. Now this is an induction cooktop and my medium high is 350, but that's only for this particular cookware. For those that will be cooking over your stove top and it's digital, you wanna cook between five or six. Now your mixture will start to heat up slowly and you wanna pay close attention to the indicator of your thermometer. It's either blue or red. When it starts to heat up, that blue indicator or red indicator will start to rise. Your mixture will begin to cook slowly, then start to rapidly speed up as you see here and just make sure that your thermometer is in a area facing you where you can read it properly now once your pot starts to heat up really good it will start to bubble faster and you're going to see this process um, grow rapidly so make sure you don't walk away from this mix because it do cook fast especially when you're cooking a smaller mix. Now this is a regular mix. This is the 411. And as you see, it's cooking fast and heating up. It's just a little bit over 200 degrees. I'm gonna be creating a metallic turquoise color. I'm using the AmeriColor Pearl Sheen, which is an airbrush color, and the Liquid Gel Turquoise by Chef Masters. I'm also gonna be flavoring the mixture with Tropical Punch by Loran Oils, and you're also gonna need a one tablespoon measure. And I'm going to be adding the Starburst, Sour Starburst toppings that I created. And you can check that video out right up in the right top corner. Now this is the one dram mix, and I'm just adding a few drops to the mixture. Once you add it, add it to 250 degrees, and then it may smoke a little, so don't worry but pay attention to the mix. Now it's starting to slow down and pay attention to your thermometer and the indicator. And now it's reaching 300 degrees. So now you want to prepare yourself to remove it from your stove. Now, removing your candy thermometer, place it into a cup of water to break off that candy at the tip. You wanna get you a silicone mat or some parchment paper to sit your strawberries on. Now here where the magic begins. So I'm going to shake this up. Make sure you shake it up well because this is a water-based food coloring. I'm adding more than usual because it's a water base. You need to add just a little bit more and I measured it out for you guys so you'll know how much to add without thickening up your mix. And I'm adding two tablespoons of the pearl sheen and please pay attention to this mix. I did speed up this process so you can actually see the color develop. Now, once you mix, mix this well until the pearl color comes in. Keep mixing until that satin look starts to develop and come in so those bubbles can start to subside. And you will see like little small bubbles which that is from the um, airbrush food coloring. So don't worry about that. But as you see, I'm continue to mix and those bubbles are starting to settle and they're starting to come in and this is what you want it to come to. Now I'm gonna add the gel color. You only need a few drops. So I'm gonna start off with two drops of the turquoise color and I'm going to mix that in there. Please do not add too much because then your mix will start to thicken, okay? So mix that in and look how beautiful this is turning out to be. Now I am gonna add one more drop so that the color can come in and I want it to be just a tint, a tint more darker and so that's why I added another drop. So make sure you watch this process because this is beautiful and I love how these turned out. 
So what I'm doing here is showing you how to create a metallic color using an airbrush sheen color, which you need to use the pearl for the base and then using a gel color to create the metallic. Now here I dipped the strawberry and it's a little transparent. It may not look like it to you, but I can see it. And I'm gonna show you in a few minutes, but I'm gonna add one more drop. This is the drop I mentioned that I was gonna add. And now look at that coming in a little bit more, a tint darker. And this is what I was looking for. So now I'm ready to dip. All right, so dip. And I'm going to dip again because I want to make sure my strawberry is completely covered. And this is dipping with the leaves. Now, for those that want to dip with the leaves, you can. I recommend to dip without them. All right. Because I'm going to take them off later in the video. But I'm re-dipping this one just to make sure they're all the same. But don't dip too many times because then your strawberries is going to be extremely hard so and just sit it onto your mat now when it comes to adding your candy topping make sure and this is with any of your strawberries make sure you drain as much of the candy mixture off your strawberry i am scraping the bottom so be careful with doing that and then you can apply your strawberry into your candy topping of your choice and then it will stick immediately. But you can't just sit them down and then add. So make sure you add after you drain. And this is how they come out looking beautifully. The shelf life for candy strawberries do not last no longer than 24 to 48 hours. It is important to dip them, be prepared to package them, and then place them in the freezer and they will last at least up to a week. When it comes to serving them, take them out the freezer at least 15 to 20 minutes before you serve them so they're not biting down into a hard strawberry. Now this is the strawberry without the leaf, which I recommend when dipping candy strawberries. Also, when you dip your strawberries and you package them, store them, and you get ready to serve them, make sure you have a care instruction that goes along with these particular desserts because they need to know the shelf life of the strawberries so they don't be disappointed when they begin to break down. So if you're making these, and I know a lot of people are, give care instructions and make them aware of the shelf life. Now here is an example of one of my care instruction treat cards, and you can create this through Canva. Here are the strawberries, all done, beautifully made. I love this color. Comment down below if you love this color, if you loving this metallic look. And also these are the strawberries with the topping on them. I love the topping color goes well with the topping and here you have them all done and ready to be packaged. Now remember, do not leave these out at room temperature. If it's hot and humid, make sure you package them right away and store them in the freezer because they will break down. But let's get ready to bite into this. And now I'm biting into these. They're not frozen, so they are going to be um, more easy to bite into. And you see the strawberry in there is just a little soft. That's because when it's dipped in the hot mixture, you're heating up the strawberry. So this is why they tend to break down quick. All right. So now I'm getting ready to take these leaves off because I think they will look better. So let me know what you think. Comment down below if I should have left them on or they look better with the leaves off. All right. Now, I'm going to let y'all know these strawberries are so good paired with the tropical punch. So make sure you try it. And I'm getting ready to bite into this one. Mmm. 
this one right here with the topping, the sour topping and the tropical punch. Oh yeah, these boys is popping right here. I love them. You gotta try them for yourself. All right, you guys, now it's time to package them. I'm using a one pound container. I will leave all the supplies that I'm using in this video in the description box under this video. So be sure to check that out. So I'll leave the packaging in there. But as you see already, um, the strawberries is starting to break down and stick into the plate. So like I said, they don't last long. But for this container, you see it's only for strawberries in here, right? So for this container, I will charge $15 for this little one pound container. Um, and then you'll price um, accordingly. Also, comment down below if you think I should do a pricing video for candy fruit and strawberries. Let me know. So this can conclude our video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below, let me know how you enjoyed this video. If you're new to this channel, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And it's your girl Ro about to go. And I'll see you all in the next video.